Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. I'm Amy for Lychee. And as always, I'm so happy to be here with you guys on a not very beautiful Friday. We have had a gorgeous fall week of uh, weather week here in Michigan. Today, not quite so much, although it's not rainy anymore, so that's good. So yes, but as always, it doesn't even matter what's going on out there because we are going to play with this super fun stamp set. This is one, it's like big, bold sentiments, basically, and I love this type of stamp set because then you can do so many fun things with it, like in terms of adding designer series paper and kind of adding a little pop to go with these fun sentiments. So we have joy to you. That is a stamp set we are going to be playing with today. We have some sentiments. Let's see, what do we have here? Peace and joy to you and yours. And oop, there's like a little fuzzy on there. Um, is it on my hand now? I don't know. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> You're ready for some new ideas. Awesome. Well, I'm ready to give you some new ideas. So I'm very happy to have you guys pop it on here with me. We also have this wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the share. And then also, may your Christmas be merry and bright. And so it's kind of fun. The I don't know if we've had one quite like this before where it's like, hi, Mike, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, so you've got like super bold and then not as bold and then just kind of like regular. So I, I don't know, whatever you call that. But I think that's kind of cool how it gets like bigger and bolder and brighter as the sentiments go on. So awesome fun stamp set. We're going to have a great time. I cannot wait to share these cards with you guys. Again, featuring this stamp set and then some designer series paper too that, like I said, really just kind of makes these sentiments pop off of the page. Um, um, or off of the card, I guess you would say. So um, what else do we, oh, I know what we have going on. So last chance lists are coming out. I can't even believe like that's happening already. So this is for the holiday mini catalog. Next Tuesday, it is, uh, I think it's November 21st. Our last chance lists come out for the holiday mini catalog, which means things are on huge discount, up to 60% off. Some of the items will be from that holiday mini catalog. Catalog. Now, some things will carry over, but as we know, many, many things will retire. So you have basically, well, honestly, if you really want something, I would order it right now um, just to guarantee that you can get it. I know there are a couple of things that have actually already sold out of the holiday mini catalog. I think those star trinkets have already sold out. I know the All About Autumn Designer Series paper that I'm giving away in just a little bit on Facebook Live, that has already sold out. There might be another thing. There aren't too many, um, but keep that in mind that that's going to start happening more and more and more right where well, especially once the last chance lists come out everything is while supplies last and that's including stamp sets used to be they would guarantee stamp set availability and they don't even do that any longer so just keep it in mind again Tuesday the 21st is when you'll learn about the deals when things are going to be discounted um, in terms of last chance items and then also like I said what's going to carry over what will continue to be available um, and I don't know if that means it's going to carry over into the next annual catalog quite possibly or it's just kind of becomes like an online only item um so we'll see about that but watch for i'll be emailing and posting on facebook i'll give you all the links so you can see what is retiring um, what's on discount make sure you use the host code that i'll give you in just a little bit if you're going to order online through me which again i always truly appreciate those online orders um, so yeah make sure you use the host code and then you get all the facebook live benefits as well for um ordering through me. Okay. Um, so kind of also I wanted to, and I think I'm going to wait. And when I flip the camera down, um, but another thing I wanted to mention is, um, the sharing. So I kind of doing something new and I don't think you guys are quite like, um, getting it, I guess I'll say. Um, so the thing is to get your name into the drawing now for the little product that I give away as a thank you for sharing. You need to share this video right here to a crafting group that you're a part of. So if you're not a part of a group, find a group and become a part of it. And then you can start sharing on there and then as well obviously it's a great like so just like this stamp studio this gathering inspiration stamp studio facebook group this is considered a crafting group this is what i would call a crafting group so find another group that you're a part of i'm sure there are other groups that you're out there kind of participating in getting lots of ideas and this is a great way to share the ideas that we're doing right here on facebook live with others as well so i won't be doing a drawing again this week but i'm hoping on our next facebook live which is actually going to be in two 
two weeks from today. So that is on uh, December 1st, actually. Friday, December 1st will be our next Facebook Live. So I'm hoping um, that you guys will kind of start understanding what I mean by sharing to a paper crafting group. And what I'm gonna do when I turn the camera down, because I have made posts right here on our Facebook group, and you really have to like click on the pictures. Like you'll see there's a bunch of verbiage as far as like step-by-step -step how to actually share to a paper crafting group. Um, but click on the pictures, because I kind of try to like scratch out what you're not supposed to do and circle what you're supposed to do. And that's in red ink. When I flip the camera down, I'm gonna show you guys kind of those screenshots. So hopefully that'll help. Um, so that you guys understand how to be able to share to a paper crafting group. But so in the meantime, on our next Facebook Live, which will again be in two weeks on, yeah, two weeks from now on, Friday, December 1st, we will give away the festive pearls. There are some red ones up in here, and then we've got um, kind of a pale green. I think it used to be uh, maybe soft succulent, and then some gold, some silver, and some gold. So they're beautiful, perfect for your holiday projects. We'll give those away if you share this video right here to a paper crafting group. Your name will go in the drawing, okay? Um, oh, okay, I want to give a huge congratulations to Miss Teresa Hinchman, who I think I saw um, is already watching on here, right? If you're not Teresa, could, well, either way, congratulations, Miss Teresa Hinchman for promoting to Bronze Elite this month. That I just kind of realized, I was looking at some reports, I'm like, oh my gosh, Teresa, yay! So she um, accumulated enough in rolling 12-month sales. So basically over the last 12 months, although I think she only bought the starter kit maybe back in June. Um, but anyway, she has $1,800 in sales now. She's accumulated that, which means she promoted to Bronze Elite. So she now gets it's a 25% discount on all of her orders as well. She did it within that quick start period, that first full six months that she bought the starter kit. So she gets a $100 shopping spree from Stampin' Up! as well. So congratulations to Miss Teresa. She also, for being an Inkspired Stamper part of my team, I love to give congratulations as well. So in addition to what Stampin' Up! does for you, you also, I give you a $50 shopping spree too and a charm necklace or a keychain and a couple of charms in there. So love to be able to recognize and congratulate and support my team members for promoting and kind of moving along in um, their, I wouldn't even say business because most people are doing this as a hobby, which is totally fine. Um, why not get a discount, right, on the products that you love? Um, if you're interested, let me know. If you're wondering, how, what does that work? You know, how does that work? What does that look like? What does that feel like? I'd be happy to answer to any questions that you have about buying the starter kit. Um, we have the regular starter kit deal going on right now, which is to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. I know we've got some fun new starter kit deals that'll be happening at the beginning of the year when celebration happens. I think that starts on January 5th, I want to say. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. Um, oh, I just want to share. <coughs> and I tell you what, I think it's been four weeks now and I still have this cough. Oh my goodness. It's, there's like a frog in my throat too. One second, I'm going to get a sip of water. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So I've been to the doctor. I waited a while. I was like, oh, this is no big deal. I can deal with this. I can kick this cold all on my own. Well, about two and a half, three weeks in, I was like, okay, this is crazy. Um, so I went to the doctor, got some antibiotics, took those all last week. And I still have this cruddy, like cough, phlegmy, isn't that gross? Icky in my throat. Um, so I apologize. Um, I One of these days it's going to be gone, but they're basically like, okay, it's, what is it? It's not bacterial because you took the antibiotics and it didn't clear it up. So it's viral. So you just have to like let it run its course. So I was talking to my massage therapist the other night and she's like, okay, you need eucalyptus oil and you need Vicks Vapo rub and you rub that all over your chest and what else? She had all these ideas. I'm like, okay, so now I got to go. I got to go to the store and stock up this weekend. So I'm going to get rid of this darn thing all on my own, I guess. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed that that happens. Uh, so yes, um, cute little cards that I've received recently from some wonderful friends. So this is a card that Deb Northrup made. And we actually made this at um, our Simple Beautiful card class. Uh, I don't know, I'd say sometime this summer, but I love, it's that Daisy stamp set, right? That says, thanks a bunch. And then she wrote a lovely note inside. Um, basically, oh, I can't even, <laughs> I was maybe gonna read, um, but she basically says, thank you. I think, yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
yeah, anyway, yeah, so she says, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, basically, and so I love, like, you know, um, she dropped off her order, and, um, or she picked up her order, and then dropped off this beautiful thank you card, so thank you, Miss Deb, for your thank you card, and then this was a card that uh, Beth Martin um, dropped off, I think she picked up some make and takes um, for a team meeting or something, and so she put her um, payment in um, this beautiful card, and I had to share this with you guys also, so the beautiful little hello, and then she, I love decorating the inside like this. I'm getting more and more cards like this, and it's really inspiring me that, like, okay, we're going to have to do some fun decorating. Like, that's cute, right, with little dies um, on the inside of her card also. So thank you, Miss Beth, for your card as well. All right, I think, because I have a bunch of things I want to do to when I flip the camera down, so I think we are actually ready to do our drawing, okay? So if you're new to Facebook Live, if you haven't watched in a while, maybe you don't know, right, that when you order through me, you get the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So anybody that ordered online through me gets these two beautiful snowflake cards. If you're curious, hi, Amy, how are you? Um, if you're curious about these cards, these are the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So you can scroll back right here on this Facebook group and find the link to learn more about these cards. You can also go to my blog um, at Gathering Ink with a K, Gathering Ink Spray. Um, and this that'll give you all the details on how to make these cards with the link to the YouTube video that essentially is this Facebook Live video. Um, so you can follow that along. So if you're interested, but like I said, if you ordered through me, you're definitely going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. If you ordered over $50, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial featuring lots of beautiful thank you cards this month. Or you can pick from the free embellishment, which these are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Hey, Philomena, welcome, welcome. And then you also got your name in the drawing to win the already sold out. This paper was gorgeous, and I can see why it sold out. The All About Autumn Designer Series paper. So we will do our drawing. One lucky winner will receive that All About Autumn Designer Series paper. And let's see, all right, who do we have here? Ah, uh, Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Miss Linda. You are the winner of the All About Autumn Designer Series paper. So I will get that sent out to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your order. And for, um, I had only a couple of orders, so just always keep that in mind, you guys. The odds are so good of winning this Facebook Live drawing because um, I just don't have that many online orders. So, you know, if, if there are only two people, you have a 50-50 shot at, um, winning the Facebook Live drawing. And that's not uncommon that I only have one or maybe two orders. So keep it in mind, all right? Spread the word. I'd love to get that word out there too. So in the meantime, if you order through me using the host code that's on my blog, and that I'll give you um, in just a few minutes, you next time on December 1st, will get your name in the drawing to win the Sparkling Snowflake stamp set. So that's the stamp set that I used on our last Facebook Live to create both of those beautiful cards. So you could win this if you order through me, and you could maybe make those cards as well, right? So keep it in mind. I'll give you the host code in just a sec, because I think... Yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got lots of things to show you guys when we flip the camera down. So I wanted to keep that brief, this part, so I can share everything else I want to share with you guys. So, okay, let's do that. We're going to um, turn your heads away for a moment. We're going to fly through the air and get the camera flipped down so I can show you more fun stuff. And actually, hold on, I'm going to just lay that. Sorry, right there, i got to fix this. It looks like it's like, there we go. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, I think we're good. My, my camera wasn't liking what I was doing there for a sec. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. All right, flip the camera over. Okay, there we go. So here is our host code for November. I wanted to say December, but I'm like, we're not quite there yet, right? <coughs> Don't rush November. We got a couple more weeks, right? So the HXQCDJPM is the host code that you'll use if you order online through me to get your name in the drawing to win the Sparkling Snowflake stamp set. Okay. So in the meantime, and I see Philomena, I think you just said that you shared as well. So I wanted to make sure you guys know in order to get your name in the drawing, now you have to share, if you guys can see this. When you click, so this is actually kind of the top part here of this printout is the Facebook Live video. So when you find, hello, Danielle, welcome. When you find the um, Facebook Live video and you go to share it, 
Typically, when you click on share, you're going to see this button that says share now, and I'm Xing this out because that's what most everybody's doing right now is they're just clicking on share now. Instead, you need to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see it'll say share to and it'll have these other options. And you want to you want to click on this one that says group right here. OK, so again, find the Facebook live video, click share, which is usually somewhere up in this area. Don't click share now, but scroll down to the bottom and you'll click on this group icon right here. Then what happens is there'll be a list of groups that you're a part of. You'll find the group that you want to share. Click share. If you're so inclined, back up here at the top, you can write your message. So you can say, check out the fun cards that Amy made today featuring that joy to you stamp set. And then you can click on share to whatever group you're a part of. Like I said, if you're not a part of a group, go find some groups to be a part of. There are so many great crafting groups out there. If you just type in Stampin' Up um, or crafting or paper crafting, you're going to find lots of groups to be a part of. Um, great way to get um, crafting inspiration. And obviously you guys enjoy doing that, right? Because you're here watching Facebook Live videos. So if um, I'm assuming probably many, many of you are already part of groups, but it's very easy to join a group. And then like I said, write your little message, pick which group you want to share it to, and then just click that share button right there. So again, these kind of um, screenshots are essentially what I did was I um, screenshotted them off of my phone and then I included them in my post that's right here on our Facebook group that kind of gives you the step-by-step -step what I just verbally told you guys. So it includes these pictures and then it also includes how to actually do it. You probably want to actually click on the pictures themselves so you can pull them up and see a little bit more detail um, on them rather than just kind of seeing the post, if that makes sense. Okay, so hopefully that helps. I would love to see you guys sharing, sharing, sharing this Facebook Live video. Um, okay, so let me check my little notes here. Oh, all right, so I wanna share with you guys the, um, where did it go? <coughs> you know what, I'm gonna grab a mint. <clears throat> it's like I have that frog in my throat that I just can't clear out. Okay, um, stars at night, class to go. Okay, today is the last day to RSVP if you are interested in this class to go. So it features the stars at night, beautiful, gorgeous stamp set. You get this other half of the bundle, which is the stars at night hybrid embossing folder. And then the dies are in here also that die cut some of these images and then coordinate beautifully kind of, yeah, additional dies that'll go with that, right? You get a half a pack of the, I think this is called Shining Brightly Designer Series paper. Let me check my notes. Um, yes, it's Shining Brightly. So you get a half a pack of the Shining Brightly Designer Series paper. This you actually get for free in option number one. You get a full bolt of the Knight of Navy and Gold Ribbon. This has kind of been unorderable. And just last night I popped on to do one more order and I was able to order this ribbon for everybody that signed up. So I'm very happy about that as well. The Blooming Pearls have been unorderable, um, and I thought I was going to have to wait until Monday for those as well, but I was able to get those ordered too, okay? So here are the four cards that we're making in this class to go. You got your Merry Christmas, celebrating the magic of the season, wishing you the best and brightest holiday season, and then this beautiful star I love. Look at, check out that ribbon, right? Gorgeous. So four cards, two of each of them. You get the bundle, half a pack of DSP, the ribbon, the pearls. In option number one, you actually get the DSP for free. Uh, option number one is $97 um, because actually this bundle alone is $56.50 value plus tax and shipping. So yes, huge but beautiful, gorgeous stamp set and dies and embossing folder as well. Option number two is if you already have the stamp and the dies, you're going to get the half a pack of ribbon. I'm sorry, the half a pack of DSP, the ribbon, the pearls, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $37, okay? Don't forget, RSVPs are due today. I gotta get the orders in today because I have to make sure I have everything here in time because, um, let's see, kits will ship out no later than Friday, excuse me, Wednesday, November 30th, because today is the last day to RSVP. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I get that word out because of Thanksgiving. I kind of forgot to maybe add another day or two in there. So I want to make sure I get everything ordered so that I can stick to my deadline again of November 30th to get these kits shipped out to you. 
And then don't forget, as always, PDF tutorial, always $15, free to my downline. My downline can also get the make and takes for just $15. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you want one of these kits, today is the day. So make sure you sign up by the end of the day today. Or actually, ASAP would be better, as soon as possible, so that I can put my order in even this afternoon for you guys. Okay? Um, let's see. Oh, did I move my whole list? Oh, I know what I want to show you guys. Okay, so one more thing before we do our stamping, okay? So I bought this. This is the Rustic Christmas Countdown Kit. And I'll show you. So this is, you can kind of see, I put this together the other day and I've just been so excited to share this with you guys. So that's kind of, so when you buy this kit and in all of our kits, they give you kind of these step-by-step -step in full in color instructions. And then there are also, um, like this is kind of the supply list. Oops, it does go that way. The supply list for each of the little projects. And then back here, it kind of shows you everything that comes in the kit. <laughs> Nancy, I think I shared, not sure. I'll check it out, Miss Nance. Basically, when I look, if it just says your name next to the share, then you just shared it to your own um, Facebook profile. If I see your name with an arrow and a group, then I know you shared it to a group. So hopefully, like I said, I've, I've done a bunch of posts right here on our Facebook group. So after the live, don't do it right now because I want you to stay here and watch the live, but afterwards, just scroll back a little bit in the feed on this Facebook group and you'll see the step-by-step -step that I just went over um, here on Facebook Live. You can see that um, and use that to hopefully get yourself all situated and um, have your post made properly, okay? So, all right, I just have to share these super cute little, so what did I do? I've got, maybe I didn't do many of them with the little, I don't think I pulled them out yet because I was like, okay, I gotta get my little string. But so here is the idea, right? And then this, this opens up right here and then you can put, so I was talking to a friend of mine who, I loved this idea. Both of her girls are away at college right now and they come back, I don't know, maybe the 10th or 15th or something of December. So she's going to send these little envelopes with maybe like a little Ghirardelli chocolate or maybe like a gift card or something kind of flat and, you know, so you can just kind of tuck it in that envelope, right? So she's going to send them to the girls so that they can open them um, kind of all month long until they get home. And then the last 10 days or so, she's going to have the rest of these at home and then the girls can kind of open them at home. So I thought that was a really sweet idea. But you can see, oops, I lost that one. So the beautiful reads with the sparkly, do you see the sequins? Love. So that's kind of and they give you the little numbers. Everything is already pre-cut, right? So you don't have to do any die cutting. I don't think there's even any stamping on this one. Um, so just a beautiful, right? So those are all the same, right? So that's kind of one little version. And then here's another one with that beautiful red twine, right? So I think I have a couple more. Yeah, it looks like I got a couple more of those there too, right? So we got a number of those, right? And so you've got the little spriggy, I love that cherry cobbler twine and then the beautiful sparkly sequins, love those, right? I'm like checking them out too as I'm showing them to you guys. Okay, those go together there. And then... Okay, so here I have leftovers. So this twine I can use to make my little string to hang them all on. And then that red, um, that's kind of like the braided trim maybe. Um, here are your sequins. I still have a bunch of those left over also. Glue dots. I actually didn't use any of those. I don't know what I even used for adhesive. Maybe just my regular adhesive, right? And then, okay, so here's another version too with that beautiful poinsettia, right? Now I'm like, oh, I feel like maybe I want to add a little twine or something to that one too. Maybe I'll go back and do that later. We'll see. I haven't looked at these in a little bit since I put them together. And then the last version is this one and I'll show you. So again, they're, these are like good heavy duty. You know how sometimes they're kind of really um, thin, chintzy, and they fall apart pretty easily? These are not going to fall apart. These are going to stand the test of time, I would say, for a good long while. And so again, you just open that up, slip a little something inside and just kind of a fun little way to count down until Christmas, right? Sorry, I'm like so busy looking at them. They're like way out there, not even <laughs> on screen, right? Okay, so this is how they come, just so you can see they're perforated and they just kind of pop right out. So you can see the spriggy things. There's a wreath that I already popped out of there. So that's how they, I had a few extra too. So you kind of have 
you know, extra fun stuff that you can play with, do other things with as well. So super cute. I think you still have time, right? If you were to order like right now, you would still have time to get this kit and have it ready to go um, for December 1st, right? Because we're only on the 17th, so you got a couple weeks. Um, so fun, fun, fun kit. Great way to kind of, like I said, get the Christmas season started off right, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I think, are we ready to do this? <laughs> I think we are. I'm looking around like, did we, did we talk about everything? Yeah, okay. So again, where's my stamp stop? Here. Joy to you. This is what we're going to play with. And, okay, here's our fun. Peace and joy to you and yours. Here, I keep doing that. <laughs> it's, the camera needs to be, are you in, in the field, right? Needs to be down here further. So how about this, right? This is kind of fun, right? That little flippy fold there. And then we decorated the inside too. I'm so proud of myself. I've been, like I said, I've seen so many cards have come by lately or that I've just come across lately that, you know, kind of have that fun decorated on the inside. So I'm like, okay, we're going to do that with this one too. So sweet, cute, simple, right? With that great sentiment and that designer series paper. Okay, so kind of get what we need. Let me scoot that right there, right? Got my ink. I'm going to give you measurements too, right? I'm always worried I'm going to forget that. Oops. Okay. Maybe we'll go like that. Okay. So, hmm? stuff's kind of flying all over the place. Okay. So, we have Knight of Navy card base, card stock, full sheet along the 11 inch side. We cut it at five and a half inches. Let's get this into view, huh? There we go. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. So that's our regular fold on our card, just like that, right? Then we've got our designer series paper that fits right on the front, four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's going to go right there. And then on the inside of our card, let's see, what do we have? We've got our basic white card stock that goes on the inside. Again, this is four by five and a quarter. Our little piece of designer series paper that goes on the side there. This one measures one and a half by five and a quarter. So that's going to go right there, right? And then we've also got this little balmy blue piece that I scored, okay? So this one measures four and three quarters by one and a half, and we scored it at three quarters of an inch, or you could say at four inches, either way. So four and three quarters scored at four inches by one and a half. That is just going to go actually like that. And we're going to kind of tuck that behind there and then lay that down on there. And then that's going to kind of open and close there, right? Okay. And then these pieces are just to do our stamping and die cutting. Basic white, night of navy, and balmy blue. And of course, I use the colors. Where's my other piece of designer series paper? Did it like fly away? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Here, this is the back side. Super cute. Oh, I wanted to share that with you guys too. This pack of paper is the Berry Christmas Designer Series paper. I love this paper. I've used so much of it. You can see we actually used this back at my uh, the one day retreat at the beginning of October. Um, so here, look at this is kind of fun, right, with those bears on it. So I think I showed you guys some fun projects with these already. I love this present paper too. So cute and fun and bright. Um, what else do we have? Um, this, and that's the back side there too. Kind of looks very like Nordic, like a Norwegian sweater, right? With the deer. And then we've got some more polar bears and some more snowflakes there. So beautiful pack of designer series paper as well. Again, that's what I was kind of trying to refer to was this stamp set pairs really well with fun, bright, bold designer series paper like that too. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see, we are going to do, let's see, we're going to scoot this stuff over here. We're going to do our stamping and then we'll do our die cutting. So all we need is this peace and joy to you and yours. So we got a nice tap, 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 right? We're going to do this. We are going to put that right about there. Okay, good. Whew. All right, that worked. I think that's all the stamping, just that one big bold. Yep. And then we just got some die cutting that we did on the inside there. And I have to grab my <laughs> newly laundered chamois. Now it might not look like it, but this is fresh and clean. And honestly, I've been like 
I've been smelling it because <laughs> it smells like my dishwashing soap and it smells so good. So I didn't realize um, I had a customer bring her chamois in and somehow it got kind of moldy. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want that to happen to mine. So I threw all of my chamois in the dishwasher on the very top rack where you put the kind of utensils and it cleaned them beautifully. They were still really wet, like it didn't dry, and maybe that was just my setting, which I didn't want to like heat dry them. Uh, but I just pulled them out, wringed them out, um, and kind of let them, I don't, I don't even think I let them dry at all. I kind of put them in here damp, but again, it smells like my dishwashing soap now, so I'm very happy. So just so you know that, because it was kind of starting to not clean as well either, I think because there was so much ink in here, I was taking them, you know, and just kind of rinsing them out, um, wringing them kind of with, uh, you know, just water basically in um, the sink. But I thought, okay, I'm going to actually wash it. And because I kind of heard that you could do that. And so far it's been wonderful. So kind of, I think Robin was asking me about that. How, how often you wet it or wash it? And I didn't really have a good answer. Um, I guess whenever you need it, whenever you think, <laughs> whenever you're like, oh, maybe it's starting to get a little not as pleasant or it doesn't clean as well, right? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> you, Robin, you are on here, so you're hearing me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with that chamois now, I guess. Okay, so we are going to, we're going to have to do this kind of two separate times because I don't think we're going to be able to fit it all. I got a little ink on there. Although, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to go cut this white piece and then we can do everything all at once. Yeah, so I just need to make sure I don't cut it off too low. Okay, I'll be Where's my, oh, where's my paper cutter? It's over where it always is, but I was looking at the wrong part. There, okay. Now we can die cut our little hearts at the same time. So get those on there. Okay, so these are the deckled circle dies. Love, 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 love these dies. If you don't have these yet, look at how many dies do you get? Oh gosh, let's put the glasses on. That teeny tiny little number, 14. You get 14 deckled circles all the way down to teeny tiny to absolutely huge. How about that for sizing, huh? Okay, and then we're also gonna use, these are the Give It A Whirl dies. I love these dies, um, especially because I love all these hearts with the stitches on them. I don't know if I've even made like a, a whirly card. Oh my gosh, is that part of that? I can't, I don't even remember that being in there. Well, how about that? Look at all these fun dies here too, right? So we're gonna use all three of these hearts are what we're what we're looking for today. We're gonna use some balmy blue cardstock and we're gonna just lay these down on here, okay? All right, so the only one we really have to worry about is this guy to make sure and make sure that's on the paper, but there we go. Okay, I think we are good to go here. <clears throat> oh so much fun so you guys obviously are seeing like I'm love making these really simple cards but with the fun bold um the sentiment and the pretty designer series paper you don't have to do lots and lots and lots with these cards to make them look super cute so you can see I mean these are really simple cards right and then how about the little we got the hearts we got the big so we got the papa, the baby, and the mama heart. How about that? It's like the three, right? So there's a the little baby one, and then there's the mama heart, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so don't lose those, though, Amy. All right, we're going to scoot that stuff over here. Hold on. I got to put these Give It A Whirl dies back in here. Um, I'd sometimes just, like, throw them right in the... Um, in the tote and then I'm like oh gosh I get kind of worried that I'm going to like lose something so okay <clears throat> there we go all right so we're good with this stuff okay I think we are ready to put things together so I need some scissors and I need some glue dots and some adhesive there we go okay all right so we'll use our adhesive first okay so let's put we're gonna put our designer series paper on the outside of our card, right? So we got our cute little snowflakes. Oh, I love that paper, right? Now we're gonna add our designer series paper. We're doing the inside of a card now, right? Well, that's stuck to my hand. 
and I'm like all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna add this white or this designer series paper right there. We're also going to grab our little silicone mat and we're gonna put adhesive, I think. Yeah, these are all just regular adhesive. I wasn't sure if I popped any of them up on dimensionals, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're gonna add adhesive to that guy. Oops, that's like kind of running off the edge there. Let's see, did I fix it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that little teeny tiny baby heart right there. We're gonna scoot those over there because next step is that we actually, oh here, let me bring this back in. We wanna put a bunch of adhesive on. Okay, that did not, I gotta put my glasses back on. It's like glasses on, glasses off. How do I need, oh, it got kind of rolled over. I see what's happening. Yeah, so you maybe can't see it very well, but it's almost like it got rolled over on itself inside there. But we're gonna just keep, it's given me enough adhesive. I might just have to run a little bit more. I think either that or I'll have to grab another one if, huh, maybe I have a defective one. That might be why I had a pile of these. Okay, let's find a different adhesive. Here we go, I'll fix that later. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but I think this one will work. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of, I need to lay that right over on the edge because the idea is when you close this, this can't get like rumpled up, right? So that looks good. There we go, okay? Because I was, when I made it originally, I had, I maybe maybe that was stuck out a little bit further. I probably could have trimmed it also, but I this wasn't closing nice and easy like that one is there when I did that card. So we're good now, okay. So we're gonna add some more adhesive. Did that, what is going on with my adhesives? There, okay, I think we're good. It's funny because I was like, is that actually running? Hmm. Man, I don't know what I'm doing with these guys. Sorry about this. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna add this one right on there, okay? Then we're gonna add some more adhesive. I'm gonna run this. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> yes, the blues, me too, Philomena. I am a huge blue lover. So anytime, oh, you know what? I forgot to show you guys, but that's okay because it's not a punch. I want to kind of flag the end of that so we can do this right on here too. So all you do is kind of um, eyeball. Where's the center? And you cut up a little bit and then you go to each corner and kind of cut from the corner up to where you just cut into. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing here. Isn't that funny? It's, well, maybe it is a little bit easier to do when it's not on the card, right? There we go. Okay, so there's our little flagged end, right? And then we are going to, I think I put this on, yeah, I put it on some dimensional, so let's grab those, right? And I've got those right here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna just add, oops, like flinging things all over the place. Just add a couple of dimensionals right on here. And we're gonna add our piece to you and yours, right? Then we're gonna tie a pretty bow and add that. So always the ribbon, I love ribbon. I think it just adds so much texture um, and beauty, really, to your cards. So I generally am always using ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna do that there, and we're gonna cut that one off right there. I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot, and we'll add this down to the bottom of our sentiment. There we go, and then we're just gonna add a couple more. We're gonna add that heart there and that one right there. We're gonna get rid of that stuff. <clears throat> oh, and then last little 
Got to add some sparkle and some bling, right? So I ordered another pack of these because I've used so many of them. These are, oops, I guess it's right here. The pastel adhesive back sequins coming in gold, uh, maybe bubble bath. And that might even be, um, I don't know if it's balmy blue. We're going to call it balmy blue today because that's the color that um, we're putting that sequin on right there, right? We're going to use one there. And we use one there, and there we go. <laughs> yes, gotta have bling, Robin, absolutely. So there is our first card. What do you guys think? So cute, right? How it just kind of opens up and you got a little fun on the inside too, right? All right, so project number one. Oops, those are kind of heading all over the place. I can't wait to get my new pack of these too. Like I'm running very, very low, that is for sure. Okay, so that was the first card. Now we have, <clears throat> let me show you guys the next one. Okay, so another beauty. We did this one, the Sending Good Tidings in the Season of Cheer. All right, if you guys can see that. And I, so I die cut another little tree right there. I'll show you where that came from. And then on the inside too. So we used these deckled rectangles this time. So we had the deckled circles over on this one with that kind of little like ripped edge, right? And then this one is the deckled rectangle we used and it fit perfectly, right, with that sentiment. So, oh, and then I have to show you because um, this was a card, I think Monica sent this to me last year, but this card I would say is kind of loosely inspired by her card that she sent me with that little strip of designer series paper and then kind of the sentiment over the top. And then this is what I'm talking about, how cute this is on the inside, how she decorated it like that. So I didn't do it quite the same, but I, I kind of used some of her elements with the tree. And that is a die that I don't think we have any longer, but it's so stinking cute. I wish we did still have that, right? Right? Um, but I love how she decorated the inside too. So I, I had to do something to decorate the inside of my card as well. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, also I want to show you this designer series paper before I get everything else out. You can't see it very well, is a part of, this is the Walk in the Forest designer series paper. So this is the pack of paper that when you order this paper, Stampin' Up! donates a portion of the proceeds to, and I'm drawing a blank where we're donating. They do an amazing job at that of donating, of giving back to different organizations, and they pick kind of a, a new, I mean, we're always um, donating to some organization or cause in each catalog and then um, kind of other things throughout the year as well. So great, oops, oh, Stormy, hey, no marking. Okay, I guess he's not gonna listen. This has the polar bears on it though, right? So, and then the stripes, I love that one too. And then we've got some pretty snowflakes on that side and then the trees, right? So this is, you can see, this is how I keep my designer series paper. I just kind of put all the pieces in here. This is the one we are using with the little, I love those trees, super duper cute. And then the stripes on that side, right? What else? We've got the berries, right? And then um, more greens. I think you guys have seen that one. And then this one is pretty too, right? And then that one there. So beautiful pack of paper as well. If you guys haven't seen that, my little hodgepodge, that's how I keep it though. So it all stays together and I know what goes with what. Seems, it's a good system for me. So everybody has their own system, right? We all have to come up with the system that works best for us, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so measurements for this card. We're going to start with a garden green piece of cardstock. Is that? I've been moving everything, haven't I? Like everything seems to be flinging all over the place today. Okay. So along, this one is garden green. Again, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay. This is going to be a tall card. It's going to go like that, right? Then that piece of designer series paper we have right here, again, that standard measurement, the four inches by five and a quarter inches, four by five and a quarter. That's going to lay right on there. We have another piece of designer series paper that's going to lay right about there. This one measures one and a half by five and a quarter. So that's going to go there, right? And then I've got, let's see, probably, what are we doing on the inside here? Yep. So this piece of basic white is going to die cut that large deckled rectangle, and then we're going to stamp that tree right on there as well. 
on the inside or outside, we're going to stamp and die cut those two deckled rectangles from basic white and garden green cardstock. Okay, so let's do our stamping first. So we're going to stamp our the sending good tidings in the season of cheer, right? Fun sentiment. I'm going to make sure that is inked up really well. Okay, we're going to lay that. And you can see I'm pressing firmly, but I'm still not wiggling or rocking my stamp, okay? Good, that, that stamped very nicely. So we've got that. We're also going to stamp with Pretty Peacock. So that was Garden Green ink, of course, because it matches our Garden Green cardstock. And then Pretty Peacock is another coordinating color. You can see it right there and there on the designer series paper so always look at your designer series paper um the on the back of the package it tells you what colors are included or featured in the designer series paper so that's the easiest way to kind of come up with colors to use for your card and then we're going to just stamp this one little oops i'm going to do that again there we go so you can see that little baby tree, I had to stamp him also. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys where those stamps are from. And I think that's it, right? We stamped that and that and then the inside. Okay, so let's get the ink and the stamps out of the way and then I'll show you that other stamp set. Okay, we're gonna clean these little babies off real quick because hopefully I can die cut these without any trouble. Don't have to stamp them again. Every once in a while that might happen. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't want to jinx myself because it doesn't happen much on Facebook Live, but now I'm going to knock on wood because I think that's why I have this cold for so long because I'm like, oh, I never get sick. I never get sick. And now someone's like, oh, let me show you. <laughs> You're going to be sick for a month and a half. <laughs> Hopefully not. A month, that's long enough for sure. Okay, so let's see. We're going to just kind of cut this little guy right there. That one we don't need, right? Okay, so we're gonna die cut that and that and that and that, and we're probably gonna have to run it through a couple of times. Oh yeah, we definitely are. So we've got a few different things we're doing here. Okay, what was I gonna show you guys? Um, blanking out. Oh, yes, the other stamp set. I used the above it all, the cute little gondola stamp set. So here is the big tree and there is the little tree that we are using on our card. So I had to share that with you guys also, that stamp set that we're using too. Okay, <clears throat> gonna do our die cutting now. <clears throat> okay, so let me tell you. So we're using the rectangle dies, the deckled rectangles. So we've got a bunch of these. All right, let's see what's going to fit. Maybe, can we do that one? And maybe we can do our little, so these are the above it all dies also. So we are going to use this big one right here and that little teeny tiny baby one. So we'll see. Actually, maybe I can do this. I'm trying to only have to crank it through two times. Not that it would really be a big deal, but I think we're going to be able to fit both of these on here. That just needs to fit on. So, oh, I guess I should tell you, from the deckled rectangles, this is the very largest die. And then when we go to do our sentiments... That's those two right there, which are one, two, three. So the fourth and fifth smallest is what we're going to say about those. Okay. All right. So I just need to get this guy lined up on here. And we can get these cranked through. Okay. All right. Here we go. They always make a lot of noise, but really big. <laughs> I think because there's so much space in there where there's no die, I guess. Okay. So, that's cool, huh? How about a, that's a fun pine tree there, I'd say. Okay, and then our largest deckled rectangle. Get the little smooches off of there, right? Very cool, right? All right, so let's get that one and that one. And then, let's see if we did that. Okay, so now we're going to do, 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 I'm going to try. So let's see if we do this one here. And this one here, and then can I get this little, this is going to be the one, right? Let's get this set where we want it. Okay, actually, I think I did kind of put that down lower, didn't I? Because I'm going to put some ribbon along the bottom there. All right, let's see if we can get that little baby tree 
lined up. I originally die cut both of those trees, the big one and the baby one, to put on the inside of the card. And then somehow I didn't like it. Um, putting that teeny tiny baby one next to that really big one looked funny somehow. So I'm like, okay, we'll just put it on the outside and add another little something out there. So I think we are good. Yeah, okay, shoo, I did it. So there's my little tree, right? All right, we gotta put these, where are my dies though? Right here, okay. Just don't wanna lose anything. All right, and then here's our deckled rectangle in garden green. And then one more, our sentiment. Again, deckled, you see kind of the edges there, right? Okay. Scoop this one back here. All right, here we go. We are ready to put this next card together. Okay, and are we in view as I moved everything all over the place, right? Okay, so again, we're going to start with... And let's see, what is going on? That one looks okay now. Let's see if we can get this running all right. Okay, good. I'm not gonna say anything. Seems to be happy for the moment, right? And then this is actually, so there's that side that we're using and then with the stripes on the other side there, right? Okay. So as always, I like to remind you guys that all of the dimensions, product codes, colors, everything that you need to know to order these cards, make sure you use or order these products, right? Make sure you use the host code when you order. Um, it'll all be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. So check that out. Like I said, I truly appreciate your orders. Um, it's what helps keep me coming back to you um, on these Facebook Lives is being able to, you know, um, that support that you give me allows me to be able to keep coming back to you and doing these Facebook Lives instead of having to get a different job, right? Um, got to pay the bills somehow, right? Okay, so we've got that and that. We're kind of just putting adhesive on everything here. And we'll add some adhesive. That's the front side. We're going to put some adhesive on this one right here as well. Let's go ahead and do the inside of our card while we're talking about this, right? Okay, get that one right there. And then I think we just added this little guy. So pretty, huh? Right, okay. And then we're gonna peel the backs off of these dimensionals. So hopefully you guys are all, are you getting ready for Thanksgiving? Um, I love to make butternut squash. Um, and so all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get to the store and get the butternut squash because sometimes they sell out and I'm just so like afraid. So uh, right after Facebook Live, I think I'm going to run to the store and get my butternut squash. So I'm all prepared for that. And you know what I forgot to do? Because I'm, of course, I'm like chit chatting. Um, we're going to add like a little strip. I think I will pull that up. This is, what is this? The wavy trim, the natural wavy trim. So cute. And I thought just a little strip of that across the bottom kind of added, again, just a little texture. It really is about the texture here. So we're just going to add that little strip. We are going to lift this piece back up, which is going to work just fine for us. We are, let's see, I'm going to kind of, I want to make sure I've got a bunch of adhesive. And we're gonna kind of wrap this right around there. And then we're gonna go around that one and then we're gonna lay that back down. Okay, all right, that's working for us. And then, okay, you know, gotta have a little bit of bling as always. So these are the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. Oh, let's see. What is Frozen is a good sub if they do. Okay, Robin, I'm blanking out. What are we talking about? Frozen. I don't know. I'm going to have to like scroll back and figure out what we're talking about because it's not, it's not ringing a bell for me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Beautiful. Got our little bling going there, huh? Okay. Oh, ha! Oh, Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the frozen butternut squash. There, I was like, 
what is she talking about? All right, thank you. All right, now I'm back on track. I gotcha, I gotcha. That is too funny. Okay, good to know. All right, I will keep that in mind. I'm still hoping to do my fresh because, you guys, because I love to add brown sugar, like a, a lot of brown sugar and butter too. So really, it's not healthy. By the time it's all done, it's almost like dessert on a plate at Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So sorry about that. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. Okay, so quick recap. Don't forget, as always, order through me using this host code, pretty, pretty, please. You receive both of these projects that I demonstrated today. Your name gets entered into the drawing to win, where is it? My sparkling snowflakes stamp set, okay? And then you also get to pick from the... Demo design dream team PDF tutorial featuring this fun you warm my heart cord cord or the free embellishment these what are these called the faceted gems trio pack so so much good stuff thank you ladies for watching today I appreciate you all hanging out here being with me here on the live or watching later don't forget to share this Facebook live video to any crafting group that you're a part of to get your name entered into the drawing to win the festive pearls on our next Facebook live which is two weeks from today I'm taking uh, next weekend off Thanksgiving weekend I'm going to take that off next Friday um, and so hopefully you guys all have a wonderful holiday with family and friends or just relaxing whatever whatever you like to do for Thanksgiving. I hope you get to do that and maybe get some paper crafting in too, right? Okay. Thanks ladies. Bye everybody. We'll see you soon.